Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web. And today we're gonna uncrate this LS2 Stream 2. What's up, Speed Addicts fam? We got a freshie here from LS2. It is the successor to the original stream. We have the Stream 2 today in the studio. But before we do that, make sure you subscribe to the Speed Addicts channel. That way you're up to date on all the latest gear reviews. We work hard here not only to educate you, but give you that first look. And if you're subscribed, then you don't have to worry about ever missing out. Also, if you'd like to support us here at speedaddicts.com, you could do so by simply shopping with us. And there's going to be a link down there in that description. They'll get you right over to the LS2 Stream 2 selection at Speed Addicts. And while you're at speedaddicts.com, feel free to shop for any other parts or accessories. We've got it all from tires to brake pads, jackets, whatever you need. We got it over at speedaddicts.com. Okay, back to the helmet at hand here. We have the Stream 2 from LS2 recently, recently released here in fall of 2023. So the Stream, the whole idea of the Stream is a sub $200 full face helmet with a drop down, whoop, I gotta hit the release, sun visor. So the original Stream, very successful helmet, did very well, it's a polycarbonate shell, helps keep the cost down. But we've got some big upgrades with the new stream two and we're going to set them next to each other and compare but first let's get back to the the top line specs here so 149 dollars will make a stream to yours which is pretty affordable considering what's going to be packed in here by ls2 first up the shell it's not just your standard polycarbonate they've actually upgraded the stream to their kpa or connect polymer alloy which is a hybrid between a fiber helmet and a polycarb helmet because it has aramid fibers dissolved into the polymer or plastic material that allows them to fine tune the rigidity of the helmet and also keep that low coefficient of friction, which is what you want. You want to slide uh, like you know your traditional polycarb helmets. So the KPA material is pretty cool, proprietary LS2 product. You also get the new ECE2206 homologation that is the European standard in case you're not familiar of course it's going to be DOT because it's being sold here in the states but you also get that latest and greatest ECE cert which is a step up from the 2205 instead of one drop test it is now four drop tests it's a lot more stringent safety standard pushing the manufacturers to build you a safer helmet in terms of the fit no surprises we have an intermediate oval head shape with three full shell sizes which we like means you shouldn't be wearing more helmet than you need to. Make sure you get a nice snug fit. Go buy that sizing chart, test fit in your home, watch TV for 20 minutes, make sure it's smushing your face a little bit. It's nice and snug. It's going to break in over the first few months, but if you have pain or discomfort, then you should probably talk to one of our rider support agents and get a different size. We'll help you out. Remember when you're shopping for helmets and you shop at SpeedX, not only do you get that expert advice, but you're hooked up with no cost returns. We're not gonna nickel and dime you on that return shipping label like those other guys. You know who I'm talking about. We're just gonna treat you like family and make it super easy. To qualify, live in the lower 48 states and make sure you take care of the gear. It needs to be brand new in original condition. Okay, size is extra small through 3X. Again, intermediate oval head shape and it's gonna run according to that sizing chart. Let's get in to the full breakdown here. Who should be wearing this helmet? Well, pretty much anyone. This is a pretty neutral riding position. You can tell by the position of this eye port. You know, it's not super cranked up for like a tuck, like a racing helmet would be. It's made for, you could ride it on a sport bike or a track day if you had to, but it's probably a little bit more casual riding position. Naked bikes, V-twin, sport bikes, sport touring. It's a pretty friendly helmet to almost anybody that's looking for an affordable full face helmet with that versatility of the drop down sun visor and the latest safety specs. It's also, Calm system ready, which we're gonna to talk to you more about. But let's start with the ventilation and a quick comparison to the old stream helmet first. So let's do the face off here. So this is the old stream on my right <clears throat> and the new stream on my left. You notice the first thing I notice and I really like about the new stream is the ventilation and the way they've set up the switches. So you notice this two-tone uh, top vent and two-tone gloss and matte finish on the chin bar vent. It is primo. These switches are all very beefy and do not feel anything like most, you know, $150 helmets out there on the market. Usually the switches on helmets in this price range just don't feel like they're quite up to um, snuff when it comes to, you know, the next few years of use, right? This is a big, easy to find chin bar switch 
big paddle switch and the same thing up on top. The old ones weren't bad either, but they just didn't feel of the same quality here and down low. This was like this one of these louver ones, which I don't really like and they just don't feel like they're gonna stand the test of time. When we switch around to the back, you will notice that they have a much more stylized and pronounced rear diffuser. This is supposed to improve the air of the helmet. It also just looks badass. You have passive ventilation here that is bigger and it's going to flow more air than the older stream and it just looks cool. All around the styling has been updated, a little bit more modern. And they have a fully locking front face shield that requires a push button to release. It's a dagger style there. So that's gonna drop in and lock as opposed to this one that did not have a true locking me mechanism like that. Both the face shields were always pin lock ready. We'll show you more on that in a second. The other primary difference that I noticed is that the liners, and we're gonna show you, we're gonna do a full breakdown on the new helmet. This liner is just much more premium in the stream too that you're gonna see in a minute. This one was more basic and just felt a little bit more economy comparatively. And lastly, the drop down sun visor on this one was actuated by this lever on the old stream, this lever that was up and out of the way, which was nice. Um, but the action was a little rough because it's not a cable system. And it tend to, tended to bleed lubricant on the helmet. You can see in the matte finish, that's what that discoloration is here. So it's just not great compared to a more modern cable style system that's down here on this lower edge. All right, so just nice smooth action here. It's down, easy to find, it's not up, up here. Okay, let's get back to the stream too. So you already saw the ventilation package, one big paddle vent up on the top forehead, and then you have another switch down here, the chin bar vent. The passive vents on the rear cannot be closed, so that's gonna be always open and flowing. UV protected anti-scratch face shield with that dagger locking system up in the front. Very positive lock and a nice weather stripping bead here on the stream too to help prevent leakage of air or water out there on the road. Sun visor. If you're not gonna run a sun visor, maybe look for a helmet without one because it does add weight and a moving part. So if you're not convinced that you need a drop down sunshade, you could do without it. But as far as they go, this is a very nice one and you get a five year warranty from LS2. So they're backing up your moving parts which is a nice thing to have. And it just looks nice, complete with this nose guard here. Uh, nice package. They do have smoke shields or iridium shields available with, for the stream helmet or the stream two. So you can mix up. You don't have to run the clear that comes with the helmet. And it also is pin lock ready. So you can run a pin lock insert for fog, which I highly recommend if you're in a geographical region that is prone to misty conditions. You're gonna want that. It is an add-on sold separately. You're not gonna get that for free with this helmet. Given the price point, that's not entirely surprising. Down here on this bottom edge, you notice you do have this big trim piece right here that's gonna contend with your comm system, but you can either mount it up above or down here in front. And this helmet is compatible with the new LS2 uh, Cardo unit. Okay, so this package, we're gonna show you where it plugs in on the inside, but even this unit still has a comm system that you're gonna have to, or a control panel that you can um, adhesive mount here. If you have your own unit, right, you have a Universal Cardo or Senna or Uclear or whatever, you can still use it, but a clip style mount is going to be a little bit tricky because it is busy down here. You have that actuator for that drop down sun visor and this trim, so you're gonna to wanna to go with an adhesive mount. Let's flip over the LS2 Stream 2 and check out the interior. Quick release chin strap, just like the predecessor, the Stream 1. So that is nice. Very easy to get in and out of the helmet, especially if you're riding around town, you're on and off the bike frequently. This is just very, very, very easy. Overall, the interior, big step up from the previous Stream, which felt very economy. You have a nicer kind of check or honeycomb pattern on this moisture wicking fabric that's all removable, washable with a chin curtain here. We're gonna pull the whole liner system out and show you the uh, plugins for the comms. You notice that they did put holes here in this ear flap so that you can get the sound uh, unobstructed into your ear. The different panels, the stitching, you notice every material that they stitch together and put on a panel like this on this cheek pad costs money, takes time, and gives it just a more premium feel, nicer place to be. Laser cut, cheek pads, nice and rigid, there you go. Let's pull out the other one. Now, the LS2, the new LS2 4X here, 
is made by Cardo and it is equivalent to, you guessed it, the Freecom 4X from Cardo. So it is a very nice system. It comes with the, the really bitchin' JBL speakers. You're gonna get a lot of sound. You can talk to up to four people. It does not have mesh. If you want mesh, you gotta go with one of those, um, the Pack Talk Edge or Neo or Custom to get mesh capabilities, but that's for larger writing groups. Most people don't need that. If uh, up to four writing buddies covers you, then the LS2 4X is a great option. And there is a dedicated pocket for this. So you're gonna pull out this puck and your battery pack plugs right into that spot, which is cool. It means that the, the controller, which is this unit you see on the outside, this controller is nice and thin and slim and it's gonna, it's gonna attach to the outside of your helmet. And because the battery pack's in here, it's not all bulky and you hardly even notice it's there. So it's a nice integrated setup. It's a cool option. Now, the thing is though, because it is equivalent to that 4X from Cardo, it's not inexpensive. So this comm actually costs more than the Stream 2. Uh, it's around the 240 to 250 range for this one. So it's up there. I'd like to see them roll out a less expensive unit, something that's equivalent to perhaps the Cardo Spirit series that's in the $100 to $50 range or something like that, that would be compatible with these. That would be nice to see just because you're only spending $150 on a helmet. It's kind of rich to spend $250 on a comm system. New, completely new comfort liner here. Whoops. And they've done this elastic band here, which gives you a nice tension and feel in the helmet instead of just some cheap mesh to stitch together the top pad with this crown surround pad. They've used this elastic and gives it really awesome feel. Moisture wicking, very comfortable liner here that it has uh, laser welded seams on it. It is a Primo liner. And then we have the EPS crush zone in here with channels and ports. There you go, there's that front channel and then channels all the way back to those rear passive vents. And that is a multi-density EPS from LS2 that is again passing the EC2206 standards. Five year warranty which is about three years longer than the industry standard and probably about four years longer than a lot of helmets that are in this sub $200 price range. A lot of their competitors are only giving you a year with their helmets. So LS2 backing it up with a full five years, pretty sweet. So you've got the KPA material, the latest safety specs, comm system ready. You can use their comms, but like I said, it's totally flexible. You can use your own Cardo or Senna unit, which I love that they did that. A lot of manufacturers, when they go with the integrated comms package, make it so that running a different universal comm is just uh, a non-starter. They have big integrated ports or switches that kind of booger up the helmet from you running your own comms. And I don't like that. LS2 is giving you the option, run theirs or run yours and the five-year warranty. There you have it. It is the LS2 Stream 2, great successor to an already successful model for the LS2 folks. If you still have questions, don't worry. Our writer support team is standing by to help you at speedaddicts.com. You can get them on the phone, live chat, or emails. And if you are lucky enough to get one of your hands, or some of your hands on these, uh, this new LS2 Stream 2, let us know how you like it. That's it for today. We'll talk to you next time. Take care.